What do you think of when you hear the word aliens? Little green men, body probing, maybe that horrifying toothy thing that's always following Sigourney Weaver. People everywhere have been obsessing about the idea of life on other planets way before telescopes even existed. You probably see reports on the news almost every week about nearby planets and moons that could maybe support life. In 2012, NASA's Curiosity rover dug up an ancient lake bed on Mars that once contained water and other elements essential for life. If the red planet ever did host life, it was probably there. So yeah, finding a pond full of amoebas on Mars would be a huge moment for science, but what about intelligent life? In 1961, an astronomer named Frank Drake designed an equation to estimate the number of civilizations within the Milky Way galaxy that we might be able to communicate with via radio. It's called the Drake Equation, and it's a doozy. The formula multiplies the average number of stars in our galaxy by the fraction of those stars that might have planets orbiting them. Then, it multiplies the average number of those planets that could possibly support life by the fraction of those same planets that could actually develop life at some point, times that by another fraction of said planets with life that could go on to develop intelligent life, times the fraction of those intelligent societies that would then continue growing and eventually develop a radio astronomy technology to send signals of their existence into the depths of space, times the length of time it would actually take said societies to invent build and use the radio astronomy technology to let them do that. Multiply them all together and you get end. Hold on, let me catch my breath. In an old episode of Cosmos, Carl Sagan makes his own prediction with the equation. He reasons there are about 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy, only a quarter of which might have planets orbiting them. Out of those, he guesses two planets per star would have the potential to support life, and half of those might go on to develop life of any kind at some point. From there, he guesses about one-tenth would evolve into intelligent life forms, and an additional one-tenth would develop radio astronomy technology, like us. Sagan estimates that the existence of a telecommunicating society trying to talk to us right now, it's about one out of a hundred million. A tiny smattering, a pitiful few technological civilizations in the galaxy. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, a nonprofit group that Frank Drake and Carl Sagan founded, told Congress in May 2014 that they were confident we'd find alien life in the next 20 years. So until we do come into contact with alien life, intelligent or otherwise, we'll always have our imaginations. And, you know, Michael Bay movies. For more on space, check out Mashable's latest coverage, and to learn more about the active search for extraterrestrial life, visit SCTI.org. And don't forget to watch the other videos in the Mashable Explained series.